What's up guys, Andrew, welcome back to VChat Creates and today I'll be teaching you guys how to build your own tech ball table and in the end, I'll customize it. But before we start actually building this table, I have two things to tell you guys. Number one, I'll be collabing with Mr. Luck. He's a really talented artist, a good friend, and we both play soccer. So this is gonna be really fun. Also, if you guys haven't heard of what a tech ball table is, it's basically a table that's curved and each player stands on each side of the table and just kick a ball across. If you guys want to learn more about this, I'll put a link in the description explaining everything about the tech ball table and the sport itself. Alright, so now it's time to actually start building this table. You first would want to go to your local hardware store and pick up a couple materials so we ended up getting two 4x4s at 8 feet each and four 2x4s at 6 feet. Also, I didn't show you guys when I put the materials down. I also got a thin plywood board that's about 4 by 8 feet, which would be the top of the table. We need to get a thin board because we would want something that would bend and make that curve. Next, we start to measure out all the pieces of wood and we're just making measurements to kind of figure out what we want to cut off and keep. So the 2x4s would be used on the outsides of the table. So they would be around 6 feet on the longer sides and a little less than 4 feet on the shorter sides. We want to go a little shorter because when we kick the ball, you know, we didn't want to really like kick the wood because if you kick wood, it will hurt your foot and we don't want to do that. Also, the 4x4s would be at a height of around 1.5 feet, give or take a couple inches on the outside corners, and around 2 feet in the center, give or take a couple inches. So overall, for this project, we tried to get the most proportional measurements by comparing it to the original tech ball table, and I think we got pretty close, but if you guys have any measurements that you think will suit best for this table, just let everyone know in the comments below so we can all figure this out together. Alright, so we just finished measuring out these pieces of wood and now it's time to start cutting. You know what, when you're actually going to make this project, please, please, please use an electric saw. Find someone who can use an electric saw because I don't really have parental supervision and you know, yeah. So I had to end up using a hand saw, a small one. And you know, it just took a very, very long time, and that's why actually this project got really delayed. Also, when you're cutting the wood, don't forget to follow your markings and make a slight curve for the middle beams and the side ones so you can place that plywood board perfectly on it and make that perfect curve. And once you actually finish cutting your wood, start assembling it while using flathead screws, and I mean, that just makes it much more easier to use. and they have more grip, so use flathead screws. Do your research before getting your screws because those really, really play a big part in this project. If you guys are still confused on how I'm gonna build this table, I'll explain it in more detail right now. All right, so first you would wanna line up the three pieces of four by four wood. This would be on one side while keeping the two foot one in the middle and the one and a half feet ones on the sides. Oh yeah, and you should measure the distance of the wood against the board so you can keep the measurements consistent. Then you would attach the 6 foot 2x4 near the bottom of the 4x4s. This will give, keep a stronger foundation and you, you would want to repeat this on both sides. Next, you would want to attach these two pieces, so these two sides, by getting the 4 foot 2x4 and placing it on the sides that each player would be standing on. Now, this will complete the bottom of the tech ball table. Overall, this process was much shorter than cutting the wood. Alright, so we just finished constructing the base and now it's time to move on to putting the plywood board on top of the base. Alright, so we just finished building this tech ball table. If you guys want to reinforce the table more, just put more 2x4s, more 4x4s, and just make sure they're not sticking out from the sides because if they are, you might hit it 
So just try to keep it in the middle of the table to really keep that sh support and structure intact. Now it's time to customize this table. This is going to be the most fun part. So guys, sit back, relax, and watch this time lapse while you relax. Well, now after two months of Mr. Luck and I building this table, well, okay, this is only because of our different schedules. It should take you about a weekend to finish. But after two months of building this table, I really learned and experienced just building something out of scratch from wood and screwing stuff together, which was really fun. And I hope you guys learned something from this too and even got inspired to build something else. Also, if you guys I've actually built a tech ball table before and just know a thing or two that I don't please let me know in the comments below because I'm really interested to see what you guys have actually done so this brings us to the end of this video if you guys really really enjoyed this or even just enjoyed it please like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys won't miss out on any new content so see you guys next time and enjoy this tech ball table Oh, phew.